Buffalo's fire trucks are old, dilapidated, held together with chewing gum and duct tape, quipped one fire union official. Cracked frames, broken pumps, engine problems, rigs with no heat or window defrosters. Some of the older trucks have trouble generating the foam used to fight stubborn chemical fires. If the public knew the real conditions of the apparatus that we are driving around the city, if they knew the conditions of the gear that we have, if they knew the conditions of the firehouses where we live and work on a daily basis, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, they would be terrified. How's this for alarming? Firefighters trying to save an east side house recently found the ladder truck at the front of the fire couldn't pump water. According to the fire union, two other trucks also recently experienced pumping failures while at fires. There's critical failures happening all the time at major incidents. The December blizzard called attention to the fleet's sorry condition, but Ventresca told the Common Council last week it's not the blizzard's fault. He blames poor planning and sporadic investment. Okay. Ventresca puts much of the blame on Fire Commissioner William Rinaldo, who's been on the job since 2018. As the commissioner, when he came in, he should have done a full fleet inspection that was never done. Commissioner Rinaldo refused our interview request and wouldn't even give us the department's current roster of firefighting vehicles. But the fire union was happy to help, providing us with this inventory of firefighting apparatus with notes on their age and condition. Two-thirds of the city's pumper trucks are more than 10 years old, the age at which industry standards suggest they should be retired from frontline service. A quarter of the fleet is more than 15 years old. Then you have a, a large number of pumpers coming up to the 15-year mark, and these are all vehicles that are running constantly. They're going on thousands and thousands of calls. The lead time for a custom-built fire truck is at least two years which means the city has to order now if it hopes to retire those pumpers before they age out. Do it right now. Last week, Ventresca pleaded with the Common Council to use some of the city's $330 million in federal COVID aid to replenish the fleet. Meanwhile, Rinaldo, the fire commissioner, insisted that the department was well equipped before, during, and after the blizzard. At no time did the age or the condition of our apparatus or equipment affect our ability to respond or operate. South District Council Member Chris Scanlon wasn't having that. Commissioner, I think we've established the equipment's old. Scanlon wants the council to consider how the fleet's age puts residents at risk daily, rather than buying a bunch of snowmobiles and other winter equipment that will only help during bad weather. There were issues related to the storm, but I'm... In general, I'm speaking about everyday ability to respond to the calls that your department receives. Like the fire union, Scanlon is pushing the Brown administration to use federal COVID aid to buy new trucks. He wants to reopen the city's capital budget, passed by the council last month, and find some money there too. Ronaldo defended his stewardship of the fleet to the council, saying that since he became commissioner in 2018, the department has taken delivery of three new pumper trucks, a heavy rescue vehicle, and just recently, a new ladder truck. But those three pumpers and the heavy rescue truck, they were all ordered before Rinaldo became commissioner. And the new ladder truck was basically an impulse buy, a dealer's floor model that could be delivered quickly. It is a welcome addition that replaces a vehicle with a cracked frame and an office chair for a rear passenger seat. But the union president says impulse buys aren't the answer. This union has been saying this for years. They should buy two pumpers, one ladder truck every year. That would require the city to earmark at least two and a half to three million dollars annually. Typically, the city borrows money for fire apparatus. An analysis of the last dozen city capital budgets shows that on average, Buffalo has borrowed less than a quarter of that amount to buy new fire trucks. The union also wants the city to spend $8 million right away on seven new vehicles to replace those fire trucks which have passed their useful life. For Channel 2 News, I'm Jeff Kelly with Investigative Post.